Hey, welcome back to Open, everyone. It's now time for this week's Open Artist Spotlight. The Open Artist Spotlight is made possible in part with public funds from the Bronx Council on the Arts through the New York State Council on the Arts Decentralization Program. This week's artist is the third and final artist chosen for the Open Call Partnership between Bad and Pepatian. She's a performing dancer and a freelance choreographer, choreographing pieces based on current events and personal experiences. Joining me now, please welcome Jasmine Hearn. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Thank Good you for morning. Me. Oh, yes. Thank <laughs> you for being here. Hailing from Houston. Yeah, Texas. <laughs> How long have you been here? I've been here for about two years now. Um, yes, I went to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania for college where I got my BA in dance at Point Park University. And then I made my way to New York after a bit, um, staying in Pittsburgh for about eight years. Yeah. So how's it been so far, it's especially been, here in the Bronx? I know. It's been really lovely. Um, the community, um, the opportunities that are available, I've been really trying to um, meet new folks and connect with different kinds of people through dance, through movement, through outreach. And it's been a really wonderful, um, wonderful experience. And it's been really lovely being able to do what I love and share it with others. You know what I love most, uh, especially when we have the Open Artist Spotlight, is highlighting people whose origins are from other parts of the United States and who make their way here, and they kind of just fit in. <laughs> Don't you feel like you just fit in? Yeah. <laughs> because, the, because the beauty of us is that we, we uh, embrace the diversity. Yes, most definitely, which is very rare in a lot of other communities that I've had an um, opportunity to navigate and um, my roommate um, works at BAD and I get to perform at BAD, um, Bronx Academy of Arts and Dance and it's just been really a lovely um, and really a big learning experience for me. That's beautiful. Well, yeah. welcome, welcome, Thank even you. though you've been here a couple of years now. <laughs> and congratulations on being one of the uh, open call uh, winners, right? Yeah. I, I don't know if winner <laughs> is the, the appropriate word, but you're, you're one of the... Selected artists, correct. yes. Yeah, nice. Yeah. And so um, what I found interesting is the, the name of your piece, mm -hmm. uh, Make Me a Monster. Yes. Um, it kind of speaks in volumes mm -hmm. uh, with regards to... Um, is that reality or <laughs> is that just you embracing that mm. reality? I think it's a bit of both. Um, this piece really um, touches on my experience of learning how to be in my body. So as you know, sometimes when you are raised in conservative communities, I was raised Catholic, um, the idea that your body and you, there's a specific relationship of modesty um, and moving and dancing in your body sometimes can be seen as being immodest. So what does that mean for folks to look at you and see you not as a human being, but as something other um, and sometimes as a monster? So in a way, it's taking it, it's reclaiming that, that kind of um, put on image of something that's brutal or something that is horrific or disgusting or ugly and actually saying, no, I have so much complexity within my character um, as an artist and as a black woman and as um, just as a person, a person who's in their body and who isn't afraid of moving in their body without being um, told that I should feel shameful for it. So well, it, no, <laughs> that was very eloquently put. I get it. I was so there with you. I mean, because the the, the definition of dance is is exaggerated movement, right? right? And yeah. so, how do, how does one restrain themselves from being free? Yes, tell me about it. <laughs> so good for you. Thank You're like, you. go ahead, judge me. As a matter of fact, I'm going to bring it out even more. How yeah, you like that? I really will. <laughs> I believe you. We're going to get a taste of it too. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. And um, so just share a little bit about your performance be before we actually give our viewers a, a taste. Of course. Um, so this piece is a solo and a duet. So um, I do a solo in the beginning and then a dancer named Stanley Gambucci and I do a duet. The duet, um, we have had an opportunity to share it um, in Manhattan a couple of months ago and getting some feedback on that. Um, and then um, with the solo itself, I'm making that as we speak. So right now, um, it is a two-part 
I think of it as a part one and a part two, um, something that um, you see the you see the series of events, you see a narrative, you see a transitioning of character. Um, I actually end up in this dress um, because I'm in something else before it. Um, and it has a lot to do with home, a lot to do with um, spirit and haunting and being in one's body. So I'm really excited to share it with with everyone in the community. Thank you. Yeah. I'm excited to see a little snippet of it. Yeah. Yes, I like that. I got it, and I hope you guys get it. It's a narrative, <laughs> because it's a narrative that you're improvising through the, in the moment. Of course, right? as well as choreographed movement. Right, of course, it's mm -hmm. choreographed, but you left it loose enough that mm -hmm. you can improvise inside of it so that you're present. Of course, yes. It's lovely, yeah. lovely. I can't wait to see this. Yeah. All right, once again, uh, you guys don't go anywhere because Jasmine is actually going to perform a special excerpt from her piece, Make Me a Monster. Don't go anywhere. goodness <laughs> nice that was lovely thank you thank you for having me absolutely jasmine everyone and don't forget me be sure to check out jasmine's performance make me a monster that's happening on wednesday december 7th 8 p.m at bad the bronx academy of arts and dance located on 2474 westchester avenue and for more information you can visit pepatian.org or you can visit badbronx.org and for more information on 
Jasmine, you can visit jasminehearn.weebly.com. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know I did. That is our show today, mi gente. Thanks to all our guests for coming through and to you, our viewers, for tuning in. If you missed any part of the show, you can check out the Recablecast tonight and 24 hours a day at bronxnet.tv. I'm Rina Valentin. You're from all of us here at Open. May the universe provide paz, prosperity, y amor. Adios, everybody. Look at everybody. Woo!